Hey guys, what's up? It's Adib, the Texas Miner, and today what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do is figure out on your fuse box exactly what outlets go to what fuse because the company that installed the electricity when your home or place was being built, condo, townhome, whatever, sometimes you know they have really bad handwriting or whatever it may be it's hard to understand what outlet exactly for sure goes to what fuse so it's really important to know what outlets with what fuse because you can only have so many watts on one fuse and I'll get into on another video I'll get into how to calculate electricity and to make sure that you don't blow any of your outlets and you're not at risk of damaging your electrical system. So what you'll need for this is uh, a simple, this is called a, uh, it's just an outlet tester. Okay, that's what it's called. Um, so I'll show you guys how to do that. Where we're gonna start is we're gonna start at the outlet box. All right, so here we're, I think, uh, made a mistake and called it the outlet box. This is the fuse box, electrical box, whatever you wanna call it. Um, so what, uh, you know, what I'm trying to figure out here is, is if number, if is if my bedroom is number 22, uh, just bedroom lights, 20, the uh, master bedroom lights, or 19 another bedroom light so we don't exactly know which is which fortunately we can read the handwriting on this one you have your amps each one is 15 amp fuse these are the 19 you can see the, the lettering uh, 19 so 20 or 17 gets so dishwasher washer gets 20 amps the utilities get 20 amps. Sometimes houses will come with 10 amps, 15 amps. If you're at a house that you own, you can change these out and make uh, you can make larger uh, fuse amperage, but you have to make sure that you also feed in the correct gauge of wire, or else you'll run into some problems. It's like you can put a, a three inch hose nozzle on your hose, but you have a, a one inch hose. You know that nozzle is not gonna do too much for you and you'll still have, your, the, wa the amount of water running through that hose is still gonna be only the capacity of a one inch hose. So on the later videos, I'll, I'll get into that a little bit more. So, what I did was I marked them down 1 to 22. You can see here it's, it's numbers 1 to 22. And I'm trying to figure out what the bedrooms are. So we've got 19, 20, and uh, 22. And specifically my bedroom. So I put a little blueprint sketch uh, of all the outlets in my room. Sometimes it's really important to do this because even if you're, if you're, outlets do re, you know it's very legible and predictable it's always safe to double check because sometimes your bathroom will be put on a separate on a separate circuit because it's it's higher demand in your bathroom hair dryers things like that curling irons and stuff like that so you never know with these things it's always best to double check and I just drew a little blueprint and circled where there are outlets so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flick what I think is off on the fuse and my little light okay you'll be able to see here that so, that, so each one of these are hot right these are all hot. So when we turn
turn them off. This tool is probably like 20 bucks at Home Depot or Lowe's. So I want to see which one this room is. I'm going to come over here. Uh, bedroom lights, 22. 22. Flip it off. Light went off. See how? So now I know that 22 correlates with this bedroom. But I want to see which one mine are. So I'm going to flip one of these off. Uh, I think mine might be the master. 20, 20. Oh, I think we flipped off 22. Let me just double check. I think I was saying, yeah. All right, so this one is 22, okay? And I'm going to flip off 20. Put my... Go to my bedroom and nope. So we saw that that one was still alive. So we're going to come back over here and flip off 19. 19. That's the bathroom. So I know that this is on a separate circuit. That's good to know knowledge. Um, then I just go to my spreadsheet, my little blueprint markup, and I'll make a note that that all of these outlets are on number 19 and that now I'll have to go into a deeper dive to figure out which outlet that bathroom is on because I might be able to put in two rigs depending on which outlet it's on. We want to put three rigs at this place, so we're trying to figure out how we're going to do that. All right. So that sums up our video tutorial on how to figure out what fuses or what outlets go with what fuse. You saw that you would think that all outlets in my room plus the bathroom outlet would be on that fuse however that wasn't the case so either we could depending on on what outlets maybe that maybe all the bathroom outlets in this place are linked to one and we can only put two rigs in one room or one rig in each room it's just a matter of running extension cords but the important thing is, is that we found out that we have maybe extra possibility 
with the outlet in the bathroom. If you guys found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel or hit the like button. If you want to find out more about investing in cryptocurrency through the Honorable Grandmaster, Grandmasters, subscribe to our channel, cryptocurrency.market forward slash newsletter. And I'll be coming out the next video. What I want to put out is understanding the my favorite formula VWA okay that's how that's how you figure out it's the formula for calculating whether you have two variables watts and amps volts and amps whatever it is you need to find that third variable we'll go into how to calculate your energy so that way once you know your supply or your infrastructure electrical infrastructure exactly what it will handle so that way you don't blow anything out cause any fires or anything like that all right see you guys on the next video bye